Welcome to Morning Manor with Pastor Steve Mary. Today's topic, prove you're sorry. And when they saw it, they all murmured, saying that he was going to be a guest with a man that is a sinner. And Zacchaeus stood and said unto the Lord, Behold, Lord, the half of my goods I give to the poor. And if I have taken anything from any man by false accusation, I restore him fourfold. And Jesus said unto him, This day is salvation come to this house, for as much as he also is a son of Abraham. For the Son of Man is come to seek and to save that which was lost. Luke 19, 7 through 10. Here's how to get good with God and those we have offended or hurt. The Word of God provides for us ways to redeem ourselves both with God and man. Being people of carnal nature and fleshly desires, we sometimes fall into the pit of sin. Not to give occasion to the flesh, but we should become stronger spiritually. Immaturity, selfishness, impatience will stunt your spiritual growth and progress. It will also keep you from receiving the blessings of the Lord. Someone who has become sensitive to the Spirit of God will become more sensitive to the people and environment around them. This becomes a good witness for the kingdom of God. When this person does a deed or make a mistake or sin, they immediately repent, restore, and rebuild. Exodus 22 reminds us, If a man should cause a field or vineyard to be eaten, and shall put his beast and shall feed in another man's field, of the best of his own field and the best of his own vineyard, shall he make restitution. Restitution means to make amends, to make good again. I think it is important to make things right. With whosoever we have broken their trust, we should not only make it right, but both sides need to forgive. And the offender needs to make restitution and restore whatever they destroyed, whether it is property or mental anguish to another soul. Prove you're sorry. Here's what Jesus said, Matthew 6 from 12, And forgive us of our debts, as we forgive our debtors. For if ye forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if ye forgive not men their trespasses, neither will your heavenly Father forgive you of your trespasses. We must overcome evil with good deeds, especially if we sin against another person. We must restore to that person every act of kindness. Humble yourself before them. Show your love towards them. This will prove you're sorry for your sin. You need their forgiveness and their trust. If you don't, your Heavenly Father will not forgive you. Some say they forgive you, and you take that for granted. They're only doing their part of the law of God. You must make amends and clean your own slate with God by doing the extra step of showing your sorry to the victim of your sin and to the Almighty God. God is gracious. He gave you a space to repent. My advice to you, use it wisely. Yes, saying I'm sorry sometimes become a bit hard, but you have to bear in mind that to the same measure that we meet out, the same will be measured to us. It's not only about telling somebody that you're sorry, but you've got to mean it from your heart and be willing to go the extra mile and let them know. If you're sorry, prove it. The thought of the day, for if you forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. God bless you today. In Jesus' name. Please remember to like and subscribe to my page on YouTube. Your support is much appreciated. Miracle walker, promise keeper, light in the darkness.